It was June 30, 1908, a normal morning in Tunguska, Siberia. Suddenly the sky lit up, a brilliant flash brighter than the sun. This light streaked across the sky, people miles away felt intense heat, then came the sound, deafening explosions like artillery fire. The ground trembled, it was like a powerful earthquake, the force was immense, the shockwave flattened everything. The local Evenki people spoke of a fire god descending, their world had been violently disrupted, the mystery of what happened that day would linger for decades. The immediate aftermath was devastation, over 80 million trees were flattened, they covered an area of 2,150 square kilometers, all pointing away from a central point, it took years for scientists to reach the site. The first expeditions were led by Leonid Kulik in the 1920s, Kulik was looking for a meteorite, he expected to find a giant crater, but Kulik found no crater, this was a big surprise. How could such a massive explosion happen and leave no impact scar? For several nights after the event, the sky was unusually bright, what caused this lingering glow? With no crater the theory started flying, some suggested an alien spaceship had exploded, or perhaps a tiny black hole passed through Earth. Others even talked about experiments with antimatter. Early on, many thought it was a comet. Perhaps a small comet entered the atmosphere, and it vaporized completely before hitting the ground. This could explain the lack of a crater. However, the comet theory also had challenges. The energy released was enormous. Scientists needed more data. The search for an answer continued for decades. It became one of the 20th century's most enduring scientific mysteries. Today most scientists agree on the cause, it was a cosmic airburst, a meteoroid, probably a stony asteroid, entered our atmosphere, it exploded in the air, about 5 to 10 kilometers above the surface, this airburst explains the massive widespread damage, and it explains the lack of a crater, the explosion's energy dissipated outwards, the shockwave flattened the trees below, scientists have found tiny spheres of silicate and magnetite, these spheres have high levels of nickel, this evidence strongly supports the airburst theory. Events like Tunguska are rare but not unique. In 2013, a smaller asteroid exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia. The Tunguska event was a wake-up call from the cosmos.